sum of two numbers is 2490. If 6.5% of one number is equal to 8.5% of the other, then find the numbers. Consider numbers as x and y. So x plus y is equal to 2490 and 6.5% of one number is equal to 8.5% of other number. Then here percentage and point cancel. Here 5 goes 13 times in 65 and 5 goes 17 times in 85. Now x by y. From this x by y is equal to 17 by 13. And x plus y means 17 part plus 13 part is equal to 30 part. So 30 part is given as 2490. 0, 0 cancel. 3 goes 8 times in 24, 3 times in 9. So 1 part is 83 means 17 part is equal to 17 into 83. 7 into 3, 21. Remaining 2. 8 into 7, 56 plus 3, 59. 59 plus 2 is equal to 61. Remaining 6. 8 into 1 plus 6 is equal to 14. So, one number is 1411. If you look at this, one number is 1411. Then, other number must be 1411 plus 1079 will give you 2490. So, this is our answer. Option D is your answer. Since answer is not known as given, you have to find other number as well. Here, these two sum will give you 2490. So, option D is your answer. Other number is 1079. A man spent 35% of his income on food, 25% on children's education and 80% of the remaining on house rent. What percentage of his income he is left with? Consider 100 rupees as income. And out of this, 35% of 100, that is 35 rupees, he spent on food. And 25% of 100 means 25 rupees he spent on children's education. So remaining is 35 plus 25 is 60. So remaining is 40 rupees. So, 40 rupees is remaining. 80% of the remaining he spent on house rent means 80% of 80% of 40 he spent on rent. Then remaining is 20% of 40. 10% of 40 is 4. Then 20% is 8 rupees. So, 8 rupees is his savings. That is, he is left with 8 rupees. Option A is your answer. 8 rupees out of 100 means 8%. That is 8%.